Many of those evacuees have harrowing tales of how they got out of harm's way. As Tina Lovegreen tells us, they face many restless nights ahead. It's been an uneasy journey for the thousands fleeing the flames, especially for 62-year-old Gary Bennett. I can't stand for very long. With... He says he had to hitchhike from Williams Lake. What do you do, right? You don't have a vehicle or anything like that, right? You're going to have to get out somehow. So I walk. Bennett lives a life of solitude, and one of the drawbacks is that he doesn't have a car or anyone to give him a ride. Everybody was screaming by me, and no one would pick me up. And then finally I got a ride with this trucker guy stops, and he says, this shouldn't be a place for you to be. He got to Kamloops yesterday. He says an RCMP officer gave him his new kicks, after he wore out his pair walking the highway. He then camped out in the park. Here's my tent. That's what I've been using to sleep in. Cots are available through the emergency services center, but they're not suitable for everyone. Obviously there isn't a whole lot of room in here. This young couple might have to once again sleep in their car. Really, uh, we just sort of parked somewhere a little bit quiet and just like this I put a blanket or a pillow on the window I sort of covered myself with my jacket and fell asleep I not like it would have mattered where I was I was so exhausted right the pair left Williams Lake with nine animals so we have these guys here two dogs and seven cats one which they found stuck in a camper it's been a a, a trip and a yeah, half. It's been a rough week. <laughs> because of the number of animals they have, they might have to once again sleep in their crammed car. We have animals, so that's kind of priority for us. We go where they go. Hotel rooms are also filling up quickly, and people are being told to stay with family and friends if possible. I am staying with my daughter in Westside with five of my dogs. Some will have a comfortable bed tonight, but that doesn't mean they'll be resting easy. Everything's there. Except for photos, we got all our photographs out, my computer out. Um, yeah, we've lived there for 42 years, so basically everything's still in the house. You know, we got what we could. A restless night, no matter which way you lay. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Kamloops.